All right, welcome back to C Programming Skills Using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. We're going to focus on what's called selection statements. This will be your first example of how you can make decisions in your code. And uh, be much more to come on this, but this will be the initial introduction. So let's turn to our initial project, like we've seen many times, this default Hello World project. And remember in the previous video, we introduced a function called getChar. In fact, we said, let's declare a variable called C, and let's actually fill that in. We can say C equals getChar. In fact, what we could do is say printf, um, press enter to continue. This is how we began the previous video. And of course, we can read in that character. Now, once we read it in, one of the things we might want to do is find out if what we entered, uh, if it is a alphabetic character, you know, A, B, C, and so forth, uh, or is it, is it not? And it turns out we can, we can do something like that. Let's say... Uh, is it, we'll say, is C a alpha char? In other words, is it an alphabet character? Now, how can we do that? Well, we can have an integer result. So notice I've declared a new variable called result, which is of integer. And I can assign the value of result using a function a new function we've not seen before called is alpha. And we, we pass into is alpha, we pass in the C. And it's going to tell us a true or false whether this is an alpha character or not. Now I want you to observe if I click on run right now, notice I'm getting a warning. And you may have recognized even this, this green curly underline is telling you you've got a warning. In fact, we see the, the green here, and, and the warning is implicitly declared. Now, anytime you see implicitly declared, it means either you typed it wrong, that is, you have a typo, or you need an additional header file where this is defined at. And it turns out in this case, there is an additional header file called ctype.h. ctype.h declares functions like isAlpha, which given a character entered from the console, it will return true or false. It returns true or false whether this is an alpha character. So if that's the case, we, we're going to introduce a selection statement. So this is brand new, selection statement. And what, what that means, we can select to do something based on a, a value. So we're going to say if, and I'll put in parentheses, if the result. So what this is saying, if this is true, if this is true, then we will print f and say is alpha backslash in. But notice only if it's true. So when you have an if statement, when, when you have selection, we're going, we're, we're going to do this only if this is true. And it'll only be true if the thing we entered, this get char, is an alpha, alpha character. A, B, C, D, and so forth. Let's give it a try. Let's click on Run. Now, the first thing I'm going to do where it says Press Enter, I'm just going to press Enter. And notice when I press Enter, our program ended. We did not see this printed out. Why? Well, because the character that we entered, the C, when I pressed Enter, that's not A, B, C, D, and so forth. Let me run it again, but this time I'm going to press, let's say, capital A, and I press Enter. Ah, that is alpha. That is alpha. So 
Let me do it again. Maybe I'll press, uh, how about lowercase z? Press enter. Ah, it is alpha. So you're seeing for the first time, and we have actually a whole section on this later in the course, but for right now, you're making an if, you're saying if this is true, so the way you read this, only if this is true do you execute this. Otherwise, you don't. Let's do it, let's do it again. Let's do another example of a selection. So another uh, selection. So we'll, we'll do this. How about we say result, so here's our variable. How about if we say our result equals to is control. Now, is control means it's some type of control character. Something you don't see, but it provides some type of control. So let's say if result, and this time I want to do, instead of just a single statement, I want to do more than one. And anytime you want to do more than one, you can do your open and close curly braces. So open. And, and whatever is in between the open and close curly braces is what we will do. So in this case, I'm going to say print F is CNTRL, so is control, backslash N. But I'm also going to do a printf and say value is not visible. So value is not visible. And by the way, notice I'm seeing the little underline here, which tells me, remember the rule, either you misspelled it, or you're missing a header file. In this case, I left out the N for control, C-N-T-R-L. And notice as soon as I put that in, the curly underline went away. So let me run it. So hello world, press enter. Now I'm going to press the letter A, press enter. We just see it says is alpha. But if I run it again, and this time I do press enter, and enter is considered a control character, press enter. Ah, is control value not visible? By the way, notice my cursor is right here. I did not put the closing backslash in. So let me make that change, run it, I'll press enter. Is control, the value is not visible. Right? You cannot see the value of the new line when we press enter. So this is our first example of seeing what's called a selection statement. We actually have made a choice based on our selection. So if, uh, if you only need to execute one statement, you can do it all like this. But the more typical case is you'll do your open and close curly braces. In fact, notice how I can expand and contract what's inside of there. So we, we've seen for the first time doing an if statement. And as, as you can imagine, when you're writing code, many, many times you want to make a decision. If this is true, do something. And that's what we're saying here. We're saying, if this is true, then do this. If this is true, do this. Otherwise, you do not. So we're, we're checking to see, is the condition true? Let me run it one more time. If I press the letter A, press enter, is alpha. So we know that this was true, but we know when we did this, is control, we know this was false, so it did not execute that code. Very, very important uh, video here because, as you can imagine, now you have the ability to make decisions make decisions. You typically make a decision based on the value of some variable and based on that value. If it's true, you do one thing. If it's false, you just skip this. So thank you for making it this far. Another skill, in this case, selection statements. There's still more to come, a lot more to come on all of these topics in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.